Panasonic just announced the new GH2 DSLR. With it, we see all the improvements that everyone wanted in a new Panasonic DSLR. The biggest thing is now a live HDMI output. We also now have a 24 megabit 1080p mode. Also, there's a new crop mode. Now, if this new crop mode really takes a center of the sensor and allows you to record from the center of the sensor, that allows for a whole new world of possibilities. It allows you to have a longer focal length with the lenses that you already have. Uh, the second thing is, is that it allows you to use lenses that might otherwise not be compatible. So, uh, C-mount lenses, uh, 16 millimeter lenses and super 16 millimeter lenses. Those typically Vinay on uh, the GH1 sensor uh, because it, it doesn't cover the whole sensor but with a proper crop mode and I'm hoping that this is a proper crop mode you'll be able to use those lenses just like a, a crop mode on say the red one they also added the ability for multiple frame rates um, I believe there's four different options and we'll definitely see before the cameras released it, it sounds very similar to the AF100 except that has uh, many more pro controls and I won't get into an AF100 versus GH2 argument because uh, they're basically two very different things but they probably have very similar image quality. I believe that there's now audio levels that you can see uh, recorded on the screen with the new GH2 and of course the live HDMI output uh, opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. Now, without testing it, I can't tell you if it's uh, full HD out or if it's crippled in some way, if there's something on screen. Basically, a full HD out, a, a true working full HD out gives a couple of different options. Number one, it gives a true monitoring option for uh, viewing on set, so you can have an external monitor. If it's a true HDMI out, uh, it might have less compression than the video that gets recorded to the card. This would allow you to record to an external device like a nano flash or a laptop and possibly give you higher quality than recording straight to the card. That I won't be able to tell you until I try the camera myself. The ISO range of the camera has also been expanded. I haven't seen the samples of low light. I would assume that the FPN is gone. Hopefully it does have a little bit better lower light capabilities. So in terms of what's been announced, uh, how does this stack up to the other cameras? Well, basically, the GH2, with the capabilities, uh, if the encoder is better than the standard GH1 encoder, which uh, in full HD mode had some, some terrible artifacts until it was hacked uh, just a few months ago, if the encoder uh, is like the 24 megabit encoder that's going to be in the AF100, um, you could look for results might be as good as the results that you see with the hack GH1 even though that's up in the 40 megabit range. Now without testing I can't tell you that for sure. Considering for a second that that's true, that puts the GH2 with its new capabilities above every other video DSLR released or announced at this point. And and Panasonic is also going to have the camera available with a cheaper lens. So if you don't want to buy the camera with the 14140 lens, you can get it with a cheaper lens or possibly only the body alone, uh, which should make the price cheaper than buying a GH1 with the 14140 lens. All in all, this should be a very exciting camera, and I will update you on any new information that I get on the camera.